So I have a demo ledger and a demo trezor, and I will add them both to MetaMask, and then I'll show how to send stuff on Pulse Chain, how to like do transactions on Pulse Chain. It's the same as um, it's the same as if you're doing stuff on Ethereum. But uh, you know, if this stuff is confusing, that's like totally understandable. <laughs> it's confusing to a lot of people. But um, all right, here we go. Go ahead and share my screen. Okay. Entire screen. I'll go here, so you guys can see. I'm on PulseChain.com. Just figured this was a good background. But basically, I can open MetaMask, and I have my account one. So I don't have any other accounts. So if I go to, let's see, they, they moved the MetaMask stuff around. So I think it's, okay, yeah. If I go to account details, I can say show private key. And then I just need to enter my password, which I just set up this demo wallet. But I, oh, wait, I remember what the password is. The demo wallet. Oh, that's the, well, that's the private key. Where is the seed phrase? Did they change it? Let me see. Oh, wait. Here it is. Okay. Sorry about that. You go here, you go to settings, you go to security and privacy, and then you can click reveal secret recovery phrase. Okay. I have to answer a quiz. All right. If anyone, even a support agent, asks for a secret server phrase, you're being scammed. Okay. All right, so now, so now all I do is enter my password. And uh, here's, the, here's the secret recovery phrase that's not so secret because all you need is my password to get in. And you only need eight characters to make a password for MetaMask. It's not like they force you to make a hard, uh, like a really hard password. So like literally your password could just be all lowercase one word that's eight letters long, um, if, which if you know most places, even like Facebook or whatever, you got to have like uppercase, lowercase and stuff. So this is why any money stored like in an account one on MetaMask like this isn't isn't safe. Like I had a friend who's lost money. Um, he had in MetaMask, he wrote down his seed phrase for MetaMask. He lost like you know over 10k so i have um so here i have a tutorial ledger i'll do ledger first i honestly like trezor more but since some people have ledger i'm going to show you yeah. how to why, why do you like ledger over trezor real quick or trezor, I, a trezor over ledger yeah i mean um I'll show you, but you can create a passphrase really easily. It's also just, it's kind of easier to use in my experience. Now, what just sucks for like, like people I've done one-on-ones with or people who took my course is like the letters are so small on this thing. So like, you know, I know a guy, he has to have like two pairs of glasses just to like read what he's doing. That's kind of just inevitable, um, sadly. But uh, I found Trezor to be easier too. Like, for example, on Ledger, you have to select the network you want to use on the Ledger. And even if you're doing something on Pulse Chain, you have to select the Ethereum network on Ledger. Same as if you're going to use like Polygon or like Optimism, like other layer twos. And that's confusing to people, you know? They're like, why am I selecting Ethereum if I'm transacting on Pulse Chain? And then it's like, oh, well, you know, you got to explain. They're like, to fork and they're both evm compatible and it's just like it just causes all this confusion whereas trezor you can just plug it in and like do the transactions you don't have to select what uh network you want to use on it and i but i think the biggest thing is the passphrase with the uh, trezor um which i'll show you guys in a second once i do the trezor but first i'll just show you how to add the the ledger um so i just so here's my ledger live it's open Got my ledger plugged in. I'm going to enter my pin on my ledger device. All right. And then I'm going to select Ethereum on the device. And to add Ethereum to the ledger, I basically go to my ledger and I click Allow Ledger Manager. 
and I, I already have it downloaded, but this is just to show. So here I can, so if I wanted to have Bitcoin, I would install Bitcoin and then I'd be able to click, uh, you know, receive, which I'll show in a second, but uh, you know, all these different coins. Okay. So they do have Polygon on here now, but originally when they didn't, before Polygon was like as big as it is, you just used Ethereum <laughs> and that's how Pulse Chain is now. Um, yeah, so then I could go to receive and then here's my Ethereum account. And But once you add the hardware wallet to MetaMask, you don't really need to use Ledger Live. So, but here we go. MetaMask, I click up here, account one, I click add hardware wallet. I click Ledger, I click continue. I select up here, Nano S, I click connect. Oops. Ah, so unknown error. What happened? I didn't select Ethereum on the Ledger device. So I need to select Ethereum and it says application is ready. So you gotta make sure it says application is ready and you selected Ethereum. That wouldn't have happened on the Trezor. So again, just one of those little annoying things, especially when I'm working like one-on-one -on -one with people over Zoom. It's like, it's like really annoying because it's like a little thing, but it's like really annoying to correct. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Looking for your ledger. See if this works. All right. So if we wait a second, it should show the balance. It should show the balance of the ETH right there. But if it doesn't, it should be the first account is the account from ledger. But we can see 0xb668a7. I can just... Go here and click receive. I can click continue. Zero XB six six eight A seven. I can see that that is indeed the same address. Get out of here. Normally, normally it would show my ETH balance here, so I don't know why it's doing that. Let's actually try again just to see if it'll do that. This is a. Uh, this is how it is. A lot of this stuff is very like. <laughs> We're lucky know. this stuff works at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Like, no explanation why it just it's not it's not doing what it normally does. That happens all the time. But we'll click unlock, and voila! Now I can see my Ethereum. Um, so I have ten thousand pulse on this wallet too. So let me go. Pulsechain.com, pulsechain.com. I can click add pulse chain to MetaMask. Do MetaMask. Let's see. Did it work? Let's try again. <laughs> no worries. I know. Let me uh, refresh page. There we go. All right. Now it's going to prompt me. It says, do you want to allow this site to add a network? This is a Pulse Chain network. I click a, And also that information's here. You could add it manually, but that just makes it easier to just click right there. And then now I can go ahead and switch networks to Pulse Chain. So now you can see I have 10,000 Pulse tokens. I'm rich. And I can switch networks up here. Um, but here we are on Ledger Live. Oh my gosh, where are my Pulse tokens? So yes. Ledger Live does not support Pulse Chain yet. So you can't see your Pulse Chain in the Ledger Live app. You cannot see any tokens on Pulse Chain in this app. But you can see them through the MetaMask. You're still protected by Ledger, but you're using the MetaMask interface to see those those tokens. Does that make that's sense? That's a great point. Yes, yes. That's the way I explain it. Because a lot of people, they may look, oh, I don't see it here. Where are my coins? But... This right. is just an interfa interface. This is just, you know, Ledger supports whatever networks it supports. And then it may support Pulse Chain later. It may not. However, uh, MetaMask can support any network you add to it. Um, so so you, can you not add other networks to Ledger yourself? Is that not a thing? You can here. So you go to my Ledger. And this is the same for Trezor too. Trezor doesn't show your Pulse Chain tokens. Um but here in my ledger, this is where you can add other networks to show them in the app. And yeah, as far as I know, Pulse Chain is not here. 
Okay, so they, because they actually need to add the app because the apps run and that's the client to actually show the, through via the interface. Right. Okay. Yeah, and then and then MetaMask, we can go to we can go to Pulse PulseX. We can uh, let's see. So, so just on that real quick to to explain, so you can add other networks, but you're only adding the app, not adding like a MetaMask. You can type in whatever you want, add whatever network. You can't do that in Ledger because they need their own right. secure apps and stuff to run on the device. So they need to support it. Not not you can't just add whatever network like you can in MetaMask. Right, right. And that's this is something I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, what's cool about PulseChain.com is all the links are here. So like if you want to go to PulseX, you can just type in PulseChain.com, click PulseX right here. Um, let's see, connect my wallet. I have Warox wallet here too. Um, but all right, so now I have 10,000 Pulse. Let's say I want to swap 100 Pulse to... <laughs> 377 pulse x all right i'm gonna go ahead and do that big money plays right here all right gas is 30 cents so now i want to make sure my ledger is plugged in i want to make sure my pin is entered and i want to make sure i've selected the ethereum app so that it says application is ready on the ledger device and so now just like you would use metamask without a ledger you click confirm but now, because you have the ledger, oh, oh, okay. Another error. See, this is another reason ledger, I don't like ledger over Trezor. Trezor is better, in my opinion, <laughs> just simpler in a lot of ways. So I, I have a thing that says error, blind signing must be enabled in settings. Okay. So on application is ready, I go to the right. It says version, shows me the version, but then I go right again and it says settings and I double click the buttons and it says blind signing disabled. So I double click to make it say blind signing enabled. And then I go to the right and then I go all the way to the right until it says back. I double click on back. Now it says application is ready. So, so as you can so see, blind, it's all very confusing. Just, just on that part too, it sounds like another security feature blind signing. Um, it's just only, only dApps say no about it or something uh, you can sign transactions for. Or do you know much about it? I, as far as I know, it's it's what allows the hardware wallet to link to MetaMask in a way of like using and a way of like doing transactions. So that's yeah. that's as far as I know. Um, okay, just curious because it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like it's. Like it's, like a, it's it, I mean, it, yeah. Let me just look it up real quick because I think it's uh, yeah, enable blind signing. So it's on by default. So on Ledger. So blind signing means confirming a smart contract interaction you can't verify through human readable language. Uh, this can be either because your wallet can't extract the details or you can't trust the computer screen. Ledger is making blind signing a thing in the past. Your ledger device can display full smart contract details on its trusted display anytime you interact with the integrated platform. But when you're interacting with apps outside of Ledger's ecosystem, you know, yeah. So that, that's the thing. It's like, it's basically, they have a whitelist of stuff that they trust and they know about. And it is a security feature, but yeah, it's if you want to use it for anything outside of the ledger right. ecosystem, you got to turn it off to use PulseX, for example. Yeah, and same with like Uniswap to um, pretty much any DAP, I think, like you said. So, but yeah, so clicking, trying again, blind signing is enabled now. I click confirm. Now it says review transaction. I go to the right. It says the amount, 100 pulse. I go through network pulse chain. It shows you basically like the fees. It, it shows you like what you saw in MetaMask already. And it, it it's essentially just confirms what you're doing. Um, ben, your social credit score at Ledger Inc. has went way down right now. You just turned <laughs> off. You just turned off blind signing. You're, you're uh, obviously yeah. a scammer criminal. Sounds like. Yeah. All right. But basically I've, done the transaction it says received so here i can click add pulsex to metamask you can do that real quick and i can add the token and now you see any second it should show up here so here it, it's showing up here i have the 376 pulse x and now it's showing up in my wallet and it's not giving a dollar value and that's normal just because 
from what I understand, it's just because Pulse Chain is a new chain. This was the same. It did this with uh, Polygon too, where it only showed, it didn't even show the value of Polygon for a while. Same with Pulse. It didn't even show you a dollar value, but now it does. Eventually, I mean, I don't know. It's up to them, but eventually we might have the dollar value here in MetaMask for the other coins. Um, but for now, we, we just, we don't. So that's normal too. If, if you see that and you're like, why can't I see it? It's just, this stuff mm. is uh, crappy and new and yeah. So that's crypto. <laughs> so just to recap for people too, you know, if you're, if you're worried that about using a hardware wallet with Pulse Chain, um, it essentially, you won't be able to see Pulse Chain as, the, there won't be a Pulse Chain app on your ledger or trezor interface because right. they just don't have an app for it yet it'll be the ethereum app um but you can still use it as that kind of 2fa that hey you got to press a button to sign transactions or, or send stuff and all that um you can still use it to protect yourself and your wallet you just have to use metamask as the way to you know do pulse chain transactions and stuff instead of the ledger app until they add pulse chain to it 